everybody, welcome to the Straight Show. Back to review The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Yes, I waste some time. Yes, it right into the story. After a tragic thing happened when a man killed somebody, but he doesn't remember doing it. It's up to the warrants to prove he was not in control when he did this crime. And the, they have to prove something else happened to him. Is it an entity, demon, something like that? And the warrants is dealing with some other stuff too. And it might be even too tough for even the warrants to deal with. Now, yes, still talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, what do I think about the conjuring? The devil made me do it. When I went to the theater, I was so hyped, so excited. Because I'm a huge fan of the conjuring. And I mean the main, not the spinoffs. But when I left the theater, I thought, okay. I'm going to tell you straight up, this is the worst of the conjuring movies. It ain't the worst, it ain't the worst one. Definitely, this is better than the spinoff ones. But the main series, it is the worst. Here's one thing. I guess was not invested in the story. The story is very lacking. The story is not really interesting. But still some good stuff. Even though I really didn't like the story and it didn't keep me interested, what kept me into the movie was the characters, was the Warren. Because I am invested with these two characters. And that even though I was not really interested in the story, they kept me into the movie because I really care about these characters so much. And I'm invested with these characters so much, even though what they're doing is not really interesting. But I, I'm, but I was still into the movie and still watching and still somewhat enjoying it because the characters are so good and the performances are so good and the chemistry is spot on. I still, and even though you might not like this movie, but you really still love these characters. Let's talk about other things I like. Ed has his health issue throughout the entire runtime of the movie. And even he just uh, walks for long distances, it can affect him. And that, that can be problems when you are chasing down a demon. Lil Wayne is have some connection with this entity and it makes her and people around her do things that they don't want to do. And these two elements is throughout the entire runtime of the movie and it builds tension very well. And that's one element of the movie I really enjoy. And they uh, pull it off very well. Let's talk about the directing. Michael Chaves did direct this movie and I thought he did a solid job. This is a very well done uh, movie. The scares are decent, even though they are not scary but i thought he did a very good job directing it but this movie does it misses james wan's touch and it's missing that in the movie a lot because one thing one element that the the main franchise did was have these character moments well not only you care about the warrens you care about the people that you they was helping Especially in two, you had these moments. And the movie doesn't have these moments. So when the when the Warrens are helping this family out, you don't really get time with the family like the other movies you did. So I really was not I really didn't care for the family. And that was one element of the movies I love and one and that's one thing I miss. I wanted that. I wanted to have some attachment, some investment with these other characters that I don't because they don't get much time. You really don't get to know who they are at all. And I did not like that. And the other ones have that. And this one is, is missing that for me. And that's why I was, and I think that's one thing that I was not really interested to in the story because a lot of the characters I did not care for. So I want to end this review on a positive note. In this movie, they are not just stuck in a house helping a family. They go to different locations. And they have some great moments when they go to these different locations. 
one of the moments that I really enjoyed when they have to go underground. I really enjoyed that part of the movie. So, this movie definitely is the weakest out of the three. Definitely, I was disappointed. It does have some good stuff in the movie, especially the Warrens. But overall, the story is lacking for me. A lot of the characters is lacking except for the Warrens. But overall, I'm disappointed. So I give The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, a 6 out of a 10. If you like this review, comment, like, share, do all the other stuff that they uh, that you're supposed to do. And I'll see you on the next Straight Edge Show review. Peace.